Hello ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, children of all ages, we're back on the farm. And I'm going to show you how to tile your tiny house, or of course any house that you want to tile. And as always, thank you for liking, subscribing to the channel, it really helps us grow. Let's get into this. So we've got tile spaces, we're going to put these um, between the tiles, then we've got the like little door wedges and the idea is it stops the stepping of the tile so if the tiles are like that this brings it into line and makes it perfect so we need our water uh, i haven't got a measuring jug to hand so i'm going to use this bottle it's a five litre bottle and basically we need to put the cola classic which is a tile uh, adhesive and we're going to put it into the bucket it needs 4.5 litres so a little bit less than this bottle so 4.5 litres, I'll leave that much there and we'll add the rest later. We've got this here and this is going to do a fantastic job of churning up that Cemento Cola Classic. See if I can do this one hand as well. This little thing here, so this is your tile trowel, it's got little notches in, and all we're gonna do is spread it. Okay, so you can see there I've got a lot of excess, so uh, a lot more to go around, which is great news for me. So when you're actually doing this, they advise you to leave a gap around the edge and fill that in with like a, a silicon or a corking, and basically that just gives room for expansion. So that's uh, the typical process. Okay, so we've got a tile there. What we need to do is put the spaces in. In the spaces, I've got a three mil, so they say three mil should be kind of a minimum when you're doing your floor tiles. I didn't want to go too big because obviously it's a small place, anything super large will look stupid. But how these work is these go underneath the tiles like this. And when you come to removing these, they just snap off. But the beautiful thing about this is these wedges go in and I'll show you this in a second. What that prevents is like wedging, okay? It's what they call stepping. And basically when the step, like steps, the tiles go out of line and it's a nightmare. Things like hoovering, oh, just a royal nightmare. And it looks tardy. We don't want that, do we? We want like a professional looking job. The other thing that people do when the tiling is known as buttering, okay? So buttering is a little bit like this. We just get the back like this and then butter it up. Are you with me? Like that. Is we'll get this. Sorry guys, I am sweating here. and do that. Basically when you put that down, that creates a fantastic suction. Okay, so 
There we go, we're lined up for the next tile. We're gonna do the buttering up. Again, got this. <laughs> suction and brakes on the tiles. Okay. Do I trust this now is a question. So we're gonna butter it up. not good. Don't waste your money on them. Right, so we're going to put that first little step in. How cool is that? We are back. We're still doing the tiling, but look at that. That little sucker is so, so deep. It was gushing blood everywhere. Best put a plaster on it. I'm gonna finish off the rest of this. As I continue to soldier on and undertake the work at hand, um, yeah, at hand, not with both hands, with at hand. Uh, anyway, um, I continue to carry on. Uh, we get into the swing of things once again. I was out there washing my thing. Washing my finger, feeling sorry for myself. But at least it's healing. Good cup of tea. That'll that'll solve it. But wait a minute, this video is about tiling, not about my finger. Let's carry on. I'm gonna show you the secret to actually removing the tile spaces. They're quite fixed in place, but all you do is this. Brilliant. And like the mass magician, I reveal all these tricks for your satisfaction. You ready? Oh, two in one. I gotta admit, this is oddly satisfying. Don't forget people, use a rubber mallet because the last thing you want to be doing is chipping your new tiles. <laughs> Beautiful. There's always one. Oh, I need that one. <laughs> so we've literally had to pull the shower this way so that we can tile behind. There's the tiles that we did today. We've done the dry run of tiles here, so we've got them all in place. They all look nice and even and uh, brightly fitted, so tomorrow I can um, get all of the uh, tile adhesive down and get them all laid properly. This little corner uh, piece here, like an L shape, is going to be where the kitchen is, okay? 
Obviously a wall will be going up here to divide the kitchen and the shower room. So a kitchen over here, shower room over here obviously. And then maybe a little door starting from here, finishing there, just a little doorway to go through. So yeah, it's all coming together. Um, it's looking good. And we're getting there. I'm well chuffed, well pleased with what we've accomplished today and then tomorrow's the finale of getting it down and getting it sorted so I'm excited for that. So two lots of the Max Map has got us all of this. Barring one, just one, what's that all about? <sighs> So you have to do that one. These two tiles here, so small mix. And that'll be the last one. I also did the the grouting. So as you can see today, what we're doing is we're cleaning up, and we're doing that by literally squirting it all with water, going round on the thick parts here. See that there. And all you do is do the bottom of some work boots. That gets rid of the most part where you've splodged and it's easy. Yeah, that's how simple it really is. Uh, I mean if you want to make it difficult, get a sponge and do it. I've done it in the past it done work as well. So we're just keeping that nice and wet because what we're going to do next is we're going to get the sponges now because we've loosened everything up. And all we're going to do with sponges is wipe it down. Yes, it really is that simple. Wipe, rinse, squidge, squeeze, and repeat. see we've got the tile adhesive coming through the lines and the joints of the tiles right here when we grout over the top of that it's not going to stick in we need some nice clear defined lines that are going to let the grout sit in the gap the bits what we couldn't get out when we was tiling we're going to scrape out with this and once we've scraped it out and channeled it out what we're going to do is brush it all away so it's nice and clean and then we can grab we've actually been getting the screw and basically all you do is that see it getting all the uh, adhesive out very simple Um, this is what we've been doing this morning. We've literally been getting in between all of those tiles there where grout had been pushed up uh, because of the pressure downward, uh, where I couldn't get to when we had those uh, spacers in the way. So I've literally been going around with a screw. I showed you earlier how I made that, uh, how, how I made that screw kind of clean out all those channels ready for the grout. After that, I got a sponge and uh, like a, a cloth material and wiped down all of it so it's nice and clean because I don't want anything, any dirt going into those grout lines, okay? So that's what we've done. We're literally going to grout all of the tiles now. We're going to pop you on the side so that you can see uh, how I grout and then of course the process how we wash down on a piece of floor that you can see here so very run very run oh, so we're gonna pop it into those tiles, into those grout lines. You can see me doing that. I'm just patting it into place at the minute. There we go. Can you see it going in? I'm not making anything special of it just yet. Okay. Can you see that? It's going into the actual lines. You are more than able to do this at home. You know, 
if it's in the kitchen or what, whatever it is, man, your bathroom, you, if you don't think you've got it, let me get you back here. If you've got it. If, it's, if I can do it, you can do it, okay? doing it applying pr plen plenty of pressure it's one of the keys hey that bug's back oh, i feel really bad Everything's literally all grouted. Grouted first in the corner. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go back onto that. It's about setting. Do you see where all the new stuff is? It's kind of wetter, damper. You can have a look over there and it's actually near enough setting. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna take a big sponge and we're gonna wet it and do the first run um, on the sponge. So you'll see how I do that. So we've got all of our tools cleaned, we've got our buckets cleaned, we've got everything spick and span. So we can reuse them again at a later stage. When it comes to grouting, tiling, etc. after every use, just make sure that you give your tools a nice, good, clean wash because obviously when you're working with grout and uh, tile adhesive and stuff like that the last thing that you want is old tile adhesive getting into the fresh batch this is a float we use this for grouting and literally we put the grout on and we drag it across diagonally that ensures a nice even surface when it actually comes to cleaning the grout all we need is a nice sponge like this you can see it's quite porous this one uh, so that's what we do it with first okay and then secondly we do it with this uh, this sponge okay it's a little bit more dense and so it gives a smoother finish as well how do we do this we get a nice clean bucket of water we can start washing So here's our nice clean water. There you have it. We're ready to do some work. Well, I know that you know how to clean a floor, but it's oddly satisfying to watch somebody else clean the floor instead of yourself, of course. Notice that I'm moving the sponge diagonally, not back and forth, but in one sweeping line, and that ensures that the grout does not come out. It actually pushes any remaining grout into the gaps. We've got the tiles all laid, we've got the grout in, we've sponged it over with the uh, really porous sponge, and now we're gonna go over it and give it another coat over but with a denser sponge okay so let me show you the finished product so far so i don't know i think you can see on camera you see the fire tiles that we did first they're just about drying out i'm going to leave them a little while longer just so that when i'm stepping on them i'm not stepping wet everywhere but it's nearly there as you can see ready for the next Process. Wiped it down with a sponge and we've wiped it down with a fine sponge. The only thing that we haven't done is done the fine cloths, which will get rid of this mildew. Uh, like, can you see that? It's like a powdery residue, it's actually from the uh, grout itself. Okay, so we get rid of that by doing the fine cloths, but I can't do the fine cloths until. It dries out like that colour there, like this colour, okay? So you can 
total difference there. And uh, we're going to wait for that one. Yes, people, we have managed to do it. We've laid the floor of the tiny house. Thank you so much for sticking with me to the end. I really appreciate it. Thanks for liking, tuning in, subscribing, and of course, sharing this video with others, your friends and family. It really helps us grow as a channel. And next week, I'm going to show you how I installed this 200 watt solar panel system. See you there. This is Pete from Farmer in the Sun. Saying bye for now.